Asthma is an inflammatory lung condition that makes it difficult to breathe properly, but in adults it poses its own set of problems. Dr. Gurbinder Sadana of Pomona Valley Hospital Medical Center will explain this condition in adults. Asthma is defined, it's an inflammatory disease. That means that there is inflammation in the airways, in the air tubes. Basically what goes on is that there is spasm of the air tubes which causes difficulty for the individual to breathe. There are individuals who do start having asthma much later in their life. It's sad to say that in this day and age, we still have approximately 6,000 deaths in the United States from asthma, which shouldn't happen. Dr. Sudana tells us the triggers that cause an asthma attack. Asthma could be triggered by external sources like dust, pollens, uh, animal dander products, cockroaches also, and of course intrinsically, you know, a stressful situation. Causing a lot of stress to somebody can trigger a, who is an asthmatic can get an acute attack. There are numerous treatments uh, of asthma and mostly we seem to control most individuals very well with current medical therapies. There are some cases who we fail in spite of all means, or if we are applying certain therapies, they in self have morbid morbidities or side effects, long-term use. And those are some individuals who, in spite of all measures, we can control them with the standard medical therapy that we may resort to some of these innovations Bronchothermoplasty has been around for the last few years and there have been enough studies which have been going on to see the benefit and currently the FDA has approved it in the last year. Bronchothermoplasty, what it means as the name states, bronchial, bronchial is the tubes where air flows into the lungs and uh, thermoplasty is heat. So a heat treatment of the bronchioles is usually conducted via a bronchoscope. A bronchoscope is a fiber optic scope which looks inside the air tubes. The radio frequency catheter goes inside through the bronchoscope because it has a viewing channel and also another channel to pass catheters or other devices through it. And then uh, electrical energy is passed through, which is a heat, which is radio frequency. The temperature is brought up to 65 degrees Celsius. As we continue to expose the airway, the air tubes, to this temperature and gradually withdraw, it's usually done for both lungs because the asthma uh, affects every part of the lung and so it needs about three sittings, usually one to two weeks apart. This is a treatment, not a cure, and what it does is it reduces the frequency of the asthma episodes, which improves quality of life. It also reduces the use of, let's say somebody's on high dose oral corticosteroids, which are very harmful to the body itself. So we have seen reduction on the use of those. And the patient who received the therapy, the frequency of the attacks down the road improved on the patient and was not uh, requiring the excessive amount of inhalation medication to control the asthma and also the oral intake or by mouth intake of high dose corticosteroids. So that was a very plus point for the patient.